morning's Machinery Minute. Even during this challenging economic climate, farmers and ranchers still like to look at new equipment and the latest technology. Regional reporter Michelle Rook shows us some of the latest equipment available to dairy producers. Dairy farming is a high-tech business, and even during this tough economic time, producers are still interested in the latest technology in the industry. They got to see it firsthand at this year's World Dairy Expo. What a lot of these companies are debuting here is a lot of the management, um, a lot of electronics, a lot of uh, computer software. Fullmatic's new software is a fully integrated dairy management system called Smart Dairy. It controls the dairy from a single management point. He can do that uh, from his PC at his, at his kitchen table or from his PC on the beach in Miami or uh, within the parlor itself. He says it can help dairy operations save time sorting, detecting foot problems, and even identifying milking problems. The smart dairy system is modular and, and there, there are parts of it that uh, allow you to watch your, your dairy production. You know, uh, you know exactly what's going on with every cow. For the dairyman that wants to cut down on their labor costs, they may be interested in a voluntary milking system or a robotics unit. So instead of maybe hiring help to milk some of the cows, they can have this take care of those cows for them. In addition, the robotics unit can provide much needed freedom for dairy producers and their families. The dairyman can have a lifestyle that's similar to the city cousins to a certain degree. Now they're not tied to a specific milking routine six and six or four and four. One of the equipment technologies introduced at Expo was a new twist on an old standby designed to save fuel and labor. What makes this different from conventional feeding equipment is that it consolidates anywhere from two to four different pieces of feeding equipment into one integrated feeding system. He says the unit is widely used in Europe and for U.S. producers it can cut feed costs substantially.